Okay, hi everybody. This is going to be a really quick video. I just want to show you, I got some hatch chilies today. So I want to make sure you guys can see all these. I got a bunch of them, um, not too many. And these are really good for canning too. Um, and you get them all, you know, all roasted and everything. So what I did is I have been roasting these in my broiler um, for probably about 20 minutes. And there's some already in here. And I've got some red peppers are uh, roasted already too for my dinner. So these are hatch green chilies, and you get these once a year um, for here in California. And I get a bunch of them. Usually you go to the store um, out here, and they have a case of them for about twenty to thirty dollars, depending on the size of the case. And um, usually I do that. And I can them or I freeze them. Today, I got some given to me that were really beautiful, but I didn't really get enough for canning. So I'm going to, um, these are roasted. I've got these three left that um, are four in there. I'm probably gonna add to some that I buy this week. And what I'm doing is I'm roasting them until they're dark um, and, they're, and they're pretty, pretty mushy, pretty cooked. And I'm going to put this in this pan right here where I have my other ones, and I'm going to let them sweat. And after I do that, the skins will come off really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on here. Let's see, I have one right here that's been sweating, I will show you guys. And after these are done, that was not too cooked. After these are done, I'm going to be food saving them in the food saver, using the food saver. Um, oh, this one could have been done a little bit more too. I'm kind of in a hurry because I want to do dinner tonight. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So you put them in here with some plastic wrap over the top and you just let them sweat. And what I'm going to do to help that along is put a towel over it, let it sweat out. Now, the easier way to do this is to get a plastic bag, um, like the produce bags that you get at the grocery store. Those are, those are perfect. You get, when you're doing a lot of these, it'll come in handy too. So you roast a bunch of your peppers, you throw them in the bag, you twist tie it, and you let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes. You just sweat and let all of the skin come off. And then once that happens, you can either Pull out the top like this to get the seeds out. See all that just come right out. Now there are still some in there, but the majority comes out like that. And then you just want to peel the skin. Well, this one's not going to cooperate, of course, because we're on camera. You peel the skin off. And if you roasted it properly, it would be all black on both sides. I did not. I thought this one was sweated out, but it's, it's really not. Um, it's not good enough. But I'll show you a little bit of how you do this. There's still a bunch of seeds in there. You can just take your finger and push the seeds right out. You don't, want, you don't want to freeze seeds. I don't want to anyway. Now, what I can do too is cut this. Let's get, it, whoops. Let's get a, a knife here. We'll just cut that off. And it opens right up, get all the seeds out. So what I'm going to do is after these are all sweated out, boy, there's a lot of seeds in there, so. I am going to open them flat like this with, with the, uh, uh, this is not working for me, of course, because I'm filming. Usually they come right off, they really do. Um, so what you wanna do is you get all the seeds off, you get the skin off and you can have them flat like this and you put them one on top of the other and you freeze them in freezer bags. Now what you can do also, uh, because you're not going to use all these at the same time, so what you can do is flash freeze them. Open them up, put them on a, um, uh, a foiled pan like this, this is just a cookie sheet, put them in the freezer and freeze them for about half an hour to 45 minutes. And then you can put them on top of each other 
And when you open them, when you open your food saver bag, you could just peel each one off. You can also put plastic wrap in, you know, in between them if you want to do that. Um, I also can these. I will cut them up. There it goes. I will cut them up and chop them up just a little bit and put them in a jar and you pressure can them for 35 minutes at 10 pounds pressure for my elevation, but I'm at sea level, remember. Oh, this is just not, goodness, it's just not working. So, you know, the little cans that I do a lot of cooking with. Um, oh, right about now, I almost want to get one of those little cans. I want to use one of these for dinner actually tonight. That's just not going to work because it's too green on that side. So make sure, yeah, it's just peeling off. Barely, barely, barely peeling off. There we go. There's the pepper. Okay. There's still some on here. I'm just going to put on the side. Okay. Normally they come right off, but of course I picked the one that just didn't, and it didn't really sweat long enough anyway. Let them sweat out for about 10 to 15 minutes and then peel them. If they don't come off like this, throw them back in the broiler and then do it all over again. But if you leave it in there, if you get them all black, it comes right off. It really does. This, this was just a very poor presentation because I'm in a hurry. Um, but here's your pepper and it's usually much bigger. So you can either freeze these, you can put them in little sandwich bags and roll them up and then put all of those rolls, put what you're going to use in one dinner because you don't want them all to get defrosted and then you don't use them. So roll up all of your bags, put them in one food saver bag, Open your food saver and take out each bag as you need it. So I'm going to make a pasta dinner tonight that I'm probably not going to film because it's 616 already. Um, so I'd probably use this pepper. I'm going to put it over here in fact with all of my stuff. And um, that's going to be for my pasta dinner. And I also have roasted red peppers in here. That is also for my pasta dinner. And you can do these the same way. Let's see if this one comes off. Oh, probably didn't do this enough either. Don't cook when you're in a hurry, guys. I'm really sorry. There we go. It, it comes off if you're if you're patient. Um, some people run this underwater too um, to get the skins off. I usually don't like to do that because it you're kind of washing off some of the flavor that you just took 20 minutes to put on there. So, but if you're very patient, it peels right off, just like that, and you won't lose any peppers. So this is gonna be for my dinner. Now you can do the same thing with this. You can also freeze your red peppers. Um, roasted red peppers are good in pasta dishes, salads, they're good in, gosh, just eating. They're really good to just eat. So, Patch chili peppers, and I do have another video on this uh, last year or a year before, and I had somebody holding the camera for me, so it was much easier to do. Patch chili peppers from Patch, New Mexico. Um, these are Anaheim chili that are, are just grown in Hatch, New Mexico, and they do have a different flavor. They're, um, they, these are mild, but they do come mild, hot, or um, spicy, extra spicy, if you can get the really good ones. Um, and gosh, these, I, I use them for enchiladas, for, um, my tacos, for my pozole, um, just about any Mexican dish. If I'm doing any Mexican dish, or if I just want a little bit of flavor to like my guacamole, you can put those in. Um, and I buy the cans all the time and I get them usually at Aldi. Um, and it's like a four ounce can, I think it is. And they're very good. But when you can do this yourself and can them um, in the little jars, let's see, what I usually use, whoops, wrong one. Okay, so the ones I usually use are these small ones, and these hold about, these are probably about two and a half ounces, three ounce jars, and this is a four ounce jar. It's just a jelly jar. And I can them in these for 35 minutes. 
and then I just open a jar when I need it and I have fresh chilies that I that I canned myself so it's really easy to do it really is you can also buy them pre-roasted um, if you're in California or in New Mexico let's see if I could do another one here yeah this one will probably come off real easy now that they've sweat a little bit more and like I said the bag if you have the little plastic bags um, if you just let them sit in the plastic bag and steam themselves and sweat sweat it um, sweat the skins off works much better let's get this started yeah this one there you go okay yay redemption this one came right off see that falls right off this is how it's supposed to work you just have to let them stay and um, and roast them long enough to get them to this point now this one I didn't take the seeds out and this one's very hot but isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's got the seeds on it from the other pepper. There's still seeds inside of it. I haven't gotten them out yet. And you can just freeze them like that. You don't have to open them. You can freeze them just like this. And when you're ready to use them, take them out of the, your uh, freezer bag and take the seeds out as you go. And it will keep that nice flavor inside. And you have fresh hatch chili peppers. Mm, really good. So try that and try your roasted red peppers. If I do this later, um, I will show you how I food save, it. Food save them because um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different than um, just putting them in a jar. Now, when you can, you can can them whole like this and just, because they kind of, they kind of fold up like that. There you go. That's what they're supposed to be. That's what they're supposed to look like right there. Oh, it smells amazing. You can smell the heat. They are a little bit hot. And I am touching this with my hands. You probably want to use gloves, but I don't have that many. If I do a bunch, I will use gloves. But there you go. Hatch chili peppers. Roasted. You can do this on the fire too, guys. Or you or your stovetop. Whichever you prefer. Let me know if you try this and what you think. These are delicious. And it's really nice to have your own peppers that you did. And you know where they're coming from. So you've handled them. You know how they were handled, where your food came from, uh, especially if you grow these. If you're lucky enough to grow these, you'll be really blessed. This is a really unique flavor in these chili. They're very, very good. Let me know if you have any and some recipes that you do and what you do with them. Um, and share. Share with everybody. Um, give us some pointers on how you roast them, maybe in the fire. Um, I know there's some people that smoke them. Um, if you have to do it at home, as I said, some grocery stores, if you're lucky enough to go to the grocery store that have these and they, they have a roasting, a roasting day or roasting weekend and you can get, um, a case of them and they just roast them for you. It takes them five minutes, much easier. You come home, you take the skins off. You de-seed them, and all you have to do is preserve them any way you want. So you let me know. I will be getting a case if I can get my hands on one probably this coming week. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button. I know this, this video was kind of everywhere, um, but this is the point that I wanted to get across, and hopefully I taught you a little bit about hatch green chilies and roast red pepper. See you later, bye.